you might be thinking that if normally data set is present in CSV file, can we load that data into MongoDB database? The answer is yes. And this video is going to provide all your answers for your queries regarding the same. Let me show you the first data set. So on desktop, you can see this particular file, diabetic. Let's open this diabetic file. And let us see the first data set. So this is the data set. This data we wanted to load into MongoDB database. So we have gender column, we have age column, hypertension, uh, heart disease, smoking history, BMI, one more uh, specific uh, clinical parameters, blood glucose, diabetic and address basically. So we have around, let me check it out. So we have around 70, 000, approximately 70,000 records are there. We wanted to dump these all records into a MongoDB database. If you installed MongoDB database into your system, uh, you will have uh, one client tool that allows you to access MongoDB database and that tool is called as MongoDB Compass. So in my desktop, you can see MongoDB Compass is already present. So it's a GUI tool using which we can access the MongoDB database. So let me open this particular tool. And by the way, if you are not installed MongoDB Compass along with MongoDB database, separately you can figure it, uh, figure it out on internet how to download and install MongoDB Compass uh, so that you can access your MongoDB database with the help of that particular tool. Once you are going to open this MongoDB Compass, on the left side you can see the connection informations, new connections you can create from here and recent connections will be shown here. Uh, so this is the URI basically through which we are going to connect to the database. Currently we haven't set any username and password. So if you go to advanced connection options and authentication, you can see authentication method is none. Uh, I'm planning to create a separate video on different authentication methods and other uh, these parameters basically, what is uh, TLS, SSL, proxy and uh, other advanced parameters. Right now I'm not going to do anything. So I will keep this as it is. So let's keep URI as MongoDB. Local host indicates this is the host name where the database is present. So in same system, the database is present and same system, MongoDB Compass is present. MongoDB Compass is not a database, MongoDB database. MongoDB Compass is a client tool which allows you to connect MongoDB database. And in which port the MongoDB database is running? Uh, it's 27017. Let's connect to this particular uh, database. You can see it is now connected. And if you want to disconnect, you can uh, click on connect and you can click on disconnect. So you are going to disconnect now. Let's connect again. And you can see right now we have three databases. Uh, if you want to create a database, if you want to create a collection, whatever work you want to do uh, through graphical user interface, you can uh, complete that graphical user uh, work from gra using graphical user interface from here in this particular section. But uh, if you like a CLI, command line interface, uh, at the bottom you can see Mongo shell. So from here you can basically write some commands and you can uh, do the work on this particular MongoDB uh, database. So let me show you, for example, I want to list the databases. So the command is show databases. So if you're going to run this particular show databases, you can see we have admin database, we have config database, we have local database. Again, we can see here admin database, config database and local database. I want to select a config database. So use config. So you can see switch to database config. Now we are working in this particular uh, config database. I want to show what are the collections presents. So show collections. So we have only one collection present, right? That is basically system, that is system collection only uh, named as sessions. So in this way also we can uh, work with MongoDB uh, database. Uh, in this video, I'm not going to work completely on uh, Mongo shell. I'm going to, I'm going to create a separate video uh, in which I will show how basically we can work with MongoDB database through particular shell. So right now I will minimize this. Let's work with MongoDB through geographical user interface. Now let's create a database. How we can create a database? Click on plus and give the name health db. And this is the collection name. Collection is just like a table which we can refer uh, with respect to the uh, MySQL database, which is a relational management database. So in table, we have rows and columns, but here we don't have rows and columns. We will not have a table. We will have a collection, which it's like a document in which the data will be present in JSON format, a key value pair formats. So let's create a, a data in this particular form. Uh, let's create a correction with this name, diabetic. Or give a, you, you can give any name to database, you can give any name to collection. 
even if data set is time series you can just click on time series with respect to time just you can check this box and if it is uh, if you, if you want to do some additional prefer select additional preferences you can click on this and you can explore this uh, additional preferences i am not going to do uh, this right now let's create the database you can see the database has been created and the collection also has been created uh, see the database name is health db dot this is the collection name this is the database name and this is opened in this particular window uh, again if i want to open in another window you can see open in new window so this multiple windows we can open basically so if you want to drop the collections you can click on drop collections and if you just click on type uh, just type the name of collection here diabetic is the name of collection if you click on drop collections see collection has been dropped so we can drop the collection also and we were having only one collection in that particular database that's why database is also drop if database is having multiple collections more than uh, one basically maybe five collections are there if you are going to drop single collection database will not be dropped remaining four collections will be there so let's again do the same thing so health db and give the collection name as diabetic let's create the connection okay now you can see we don't have any records zero after zero right so zero number of records are there right so what we can do uh, here we have uh, documents we, uh, we can the document section we can see the documents aggregation operations if you are going to perform you can go and see the aggregation operations then schema right now we don't have uh, because we don't have document that's why we are unable to see the schema again indexes <coughs> basically uh, whenever you are, you are going to create a collection uh, by default one additional parameter one additional index is going to create for every record that's underscore id and for validation you can create some validation rules so we can see these validation rules later let me do one thing let me come back to document and let's add some data so to add a data we can insert data uh, from this particular options insert document and if you are going to click on document uh, it should have this particular uh, format so <coughs> curly brace start curly brace end the id will be this and here so basically it's a key value pair so right now we are not going to add the documents uh, from here what we will do we have a complete csv file which contains around 70000 records that we wanted to dump into this particular uh, database so click on add data import json or csv file we don't have json file right now but we have csv file just click on this and just click on diabetic file right on desktop so you can see the file name is diabetic.csv delimiter has automatically selected it's a comma because it's a comma separate value csv file if any error occurred during the loading data uh, if you want to stop you can check this box otherwise you can skip it this is the data which is present in the file gender age hypertension heart so these are all parameters this this is automatically detected autom automatically and you can see the data types also detected automatically if you want to make any change for example in case of age uh, in 32 instead of if you want to give a number right you can give a number that that's also fine but let's keep uh, in uh, 32 as it is uh, you can scroll right and you can see uh, all the columns are there or not uh, and so on so we have all the columns now and we can just click on import data so if you are going to click on import data see import process has been started now so around 42,000 imported uh, so 62,000 70,000 6, 70,653 all documents are imported and you can see it now here say these are basically all records all documents every record every row is dumped as loaded as a single document so this is the raw document for first this is document two and see this id is basically came for indexing and this is the first row this is the second row uh, this is the third row and so on so this will be stored in the forms of key value fields and this is basically json like a structure if you want to see in terms of uh, in the view of uh, curly braces you can just click on this particular options and you can see uh, it will show in the forms of curly braces even if you want to see some uh, data in a tabular format data will not be a tabular format but if you want to see it visualize it so you can see this is the id added automatically for every uh, document then this is gender and so on so entire data you can see uh, one of 20 is going to display here but there are total 70,653 records are there so this is the way using which we can load any data that is present in csv file into this particular mongodb database now you might be thinking that can we 
export this data? Can we take backup of this data? Answer is yes. How we can do this? Let's click on export. Let's export the full collection. And there are various formats in which we can export. So if you want to export in CSV, let's click on CSV, export and give name. So keep this name as it is, healthdb.diabetic because I don't have any this file on my desktop. Let's select. It is going to export now. So you can see the number in the, yeah, it has been exported now. It is exporting now. 52,000, 61,000, 70,000, it has exported now. Let's minimize this and you can see it. See, this is the file which we have exported from the database. Right? Can we export in G, uh, JSON format? Definitely yes. So click on export full collection, JSON format, export. Just change the name. So give uh, JSON. The name you can give anything basically, just I have already the same file present on desktop, that's why I have. So you can see now, JSON has been uh, downloaded and the size of JSON is now 17 MB. Size of this particular uh, is basically 4.31 MB. So CSV takes less size compared to JSON. Uh, so let me open this file with notepad. And let me show you how the data is going to see. This is the JSON like structure. We were having the data in which format? CSV format, we loaded into MongoDB database and we have taken a backup of that complete collection into JSON format and this is the JSON format. You can see this is the second record, this, this is the second document, third document, fourth document and so on. So I think this is enough for this video. Uh, so what we have seen in this video is how we can load CSV into MongoDB database and how we can take a backup of those uh, collections, database collections into CSV as well as JSON file. If you have any queries, you can post your queries into comment box. Thanks for watching this video.